Well, Pepper, and within the past few hours, we've learned several new details about the deadly school bus crash in Bastrop County, including the name of the Hayes CISD pre-kindergarten student who was killed. He's been identified as five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya. Dozens of other students inside the bus were injured on Friday and are recovering tonight. The school bus did not have seat belts, but today we learned that Hayes CISD is considering adding seat belts to all the district's buses. KVU's Matt Fernandez is at a memorial for that little boy tonight, and he spoke one-on-one -on -one with the superintendent of Hayes CISD today. And Matt, I know that was a very difficult conversation. Quit, it really was. We spoke to the superintendent about the crash. Something I want to show you here, we are outside the school, and there is a growing memorial here. Montoya loved dinosaurs. You can see the toys here. And then over here, something really special, a drawing done by a first grader. Emotions running high outside Tom Green Elementary after learning that five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya was one of two people killed in Friday's bus crash parent Vivian Balboa with her four-year-old. The passing of a five-year-old, you know, it, it, it touched home for me and I just, you know, wanted to pray over the family, pray over the school. Montoya had a love for dinosaurs and his teacher described him as filled with a lot of happiness and really smart. Heartbreaking. I mean, it's, it's just, um, you know, the, the worst fear imagined. ACISD Superintendent Eric Wright spoke with Montoya's parents. He's an outstanding kid, um, just really bright, really uh, responsible and, and just a joy to be around. You can imagine they are they're extremely grief stricken, um, but um, they're a family of faith and they have support from their church family and I wanted them to know that they have our support from the school family as well. Grief counselors and support animals on hand at the school. Everyone asked to wear green, Montoya's favorite color. Montoya is one of 55 people on the school bus Friday. They're returning from a field trip Wright spoke with the bus driver. The concrete truck uh, veered over into her lane and, and um, she took evasive action. She turned to the right to, to in an evasive maneuver and uh, that kept from having a, a direct head-on impact. And so it hit more of the, the side instead of, you know, head to head. So her, um, her actions probably saved a lot of lives. Wright says the adults on board then began rendering aid to children on board. Tuesday, classes resume at Tom Green Elementary after such a tragic weekend. With the marquee saying, our hearts are with our Tom Green families. And never forgetting a five-year-old with his love for his dinosaurs and a family that loved him so much. Grief counselors at the school throughout the day. They'll be here for another hour until 7 o'clock, and then they'll come back here tomorrow when classes resume. Reporting live in Hayes County, Matt Fernandez, KV News. Matt, thank you. The driver of a vehicle behind the bus also died in a crash on Friday with that school bus. They were behind the bus when the accident happened and crashed into the rear end of the school bus. Investigators haven't identified that victim yet. Two adults and two students are still in the hospital tonight. One of those students is expected to get to go home later tonight.